This video is going to show you how to edit what your guests see at different times during their booth session. Um, and again, we're editing the screens they see, not the print templates. So the first thing I want to do is uh, grab my event. I'm at settings and screens, and I'm going to go ahead and click edit. And you see how the screen changes a little bit. Um, it's showing me all the elements of my screen template. So the first thing I want to do is go over here and look at this drop down menu. And what we see is the ability to um, basically preview what the booth will look like at different times during the booth session. So uh, if I click during startup, this is what people see um, before the session starts. So I've got start text here. The percent signs tell me that is a, um, it's getting that, it's a variable, it's getting that from the settings screen. If I wanted to, I could just go ahead and put whatever text I wanted here. And if I wanted to change the text, that means I'd have to do it in here. And you can see this is just a text field that we can double click and edit and move around. Um, the other thing you'll notice on this particular um, template is that I have a, I've made a start button and all this is is a shape, it's a circle and I've set the transparency to 50% I, um, and I've given it a command to start the session and what you also see is that we have this field called when shown and for this object I only want it shown at the at the start of the booth not during the whole time because once the guest starts the session they don't need to see the start button anymore and so as I cycle through um, up here so that I can go what happens before photo one you see that my green start button essentially goes away because I don't need to start it anymore but I've now created a little red button that's a cancel um, so if somebody wanted to stop the session and start over they can hit the cancel button and as I cycle through you can see after photo three just uh, to be kind of silly I've put a PNG graphic there to make it look like they broke the screen and you can see this is just broken glass.png and if I double click on that and you say okay when is that graphic shown if I click edit you can see that I'm in custom we saw this before the show during session or um, never show if I go to custom I can say I want to see this after photo 3 before and after photo 4 but after that I don't really need it to show up anymore so just kind of something neat you can do and again this will work over the live view or I could put it over the images that we've already taken and again if I keep cycling through you'll see the end instructions and um, to make the text easier to read I just put a blur effect over the existing image um, again something else that's just built into um, darkroom is the, these uh, effects and then I've put my in text and the other thing you might notice is I've put a reprint button um, and again this is just a built-in shape but it could be a, if I had a fancy graphic I could use that as well but there are built-in shapes into darkroom and again I've edited when I want the reprint button visible I only want it visible at the end and here's the command it's just reprint one copy but I could make that multiple copies or um, I could have it bring up a screen to allow the a menu to allow the uh, guest to type in the number of copies they want. Um, so that's pretty much it. Um, and again, we this is essentially gives you a way to preview what's going to happen in your booth um, as the session progresses. And every everything here is is editable. So you can imagine you could really come up with some interesting things. Thanks for watching.